Hey everybody, welcome back to h &S Collectibles, this is Cody. Uh, so, time for the weekly haul. And a lot of movies this week, compared to normal. Um, seems like, you know, lately I've been getting more records and things, but uh, this week was kind of a big boom of movies, so... Uh, let's see, first up, from Amazon's Buy 2 Get 1 Free sale, um, I picked up the... Uh, Kino Lorber release of for a few dollars more and uh, I like this one because it uh, the the back side of the insert had uh, kind of a wide poster and I like how that one looks that's pretty cool um, my regular old blu-ray release of it I'll probably pass on uh, to somebody um, and I'm getting, I think I've said a couple times, I'm getting the 4K Good, Bad, and Ugly, and I'm probably going to stop there. Unless they maybe come out in a box set. Who knows? Uh, those are movies I'll probably buy forever. Um, <laughs> I got the Scream Factory release of Terror in the Isles. Uh, so I had this, you know, as a special feature on the Universal Halloween 2 uh, DVD. Um, plus... Uh, I had this ripped from VHS onto DVD because uh, I used to have the VHS. And uh, I went ahead and got this version uh, because it's got the alternate TV cut that's got different uh, movie footage in it. I did watch like the first five minutes. It's definitely a different intro. Um, so kind of neat to see a different version of it. And then uh, Needful Things, also uh, Kino Lorber. And uh, I had not watched Needful Things for at least a couple years. Really like this movie. Really like Ed Harris uh, as Sheriff Pangborn. Then next up is a little stack of movies that I bought from my buddy uh, Q the Horror Fan. Um, he shipped me, but uh, first up, just a little item that came with it. Uh, Resident Evil uh, Clover Key, or Shamrock Key. Um, so I think this was a loot crate item, maybe. Yeah, he can correct me on that. But yeah, I thought that'd be cool just hanging on a nail somewhere here. You know, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Uh, then the movies. Um, so he sent me a copy of Gravy with the tagline, You Are What We Eat. Um, saw the trailer for this. It looked a little bit bonkers, but uh, maybe up my alley. Um, he really recommended... Uh, this one, and I thought I'd give it a chance, uh, 12-hour shift. So, 12-hour shift says, uh, uh, in 1999, over the course of one night at an Arkansas hospital, a drug-addicted nurse, her scheming cousin, and a group of black market organ trading criminals get caught up in a heist gone wrong. So, that sounded interesting uh he sent me the uh five film set of the prophecy i did not have any of the prophecy movies uh on disc and have not seen any of them in quite a while um i saw this one at the store and and passed on it there but he made me a good price on it but uh the postcard killings with uh, jeffrey dean morgan looked interesting enough um a steel book. Let me get the J card off of it. Um, man, that's that's some good adhesive. Uh, steel book for uh, Hunt for Red October. Just kind of that classic poster art. I know there's a 4K steel book of it out now, um, but it's still like thirty dollars or something. And and he made me a good deal on this, so I'll take this one. And. Uh, Last Action Hero in the retro uh, VHS uh, slipcover. Kind of like that. Uh, pretty cool. Like Last Action Hero. It's a fun movie. And then also in the uh, retro slipcover, Happy Birthday to Me. Uh, I think, yeah, both of these still sealed. Um, he hadn't even opened them. So I have not watched Happy Birthday to Me in a while. Um, always like the kills in it uh especially the uh dude who gets his scarf caught in the motorcycle uh and then a toy one toy um 
and I don't know when I'll get around to opening this, what I'm going to do with it exactly, but uh, my son texted me from Walmart and said, hey, check this out, and I actually saw it last week, but didn't pick it up in the clearance aisle, but it had been marked down again, so I told him to go ahead and grab it, but it is the Masters of the Universe uh, Battle Cat versus Rotan set, and it comes with the small merman, the small uh, battle armor uh, he-man, and of course a battle cat and the rotan. Uh, I've got some of the little mega constructs he-man. I showed some that I bought for like a buck, buck fifty each in a haul. I've got like a five pack of them, a couple of them on the shelf over here. Uh, very cool. Um, you know, he-man a little bit of a resurgence going I don't know how long it'll stick I don't know how well they're selling I mean they're already putting them in the clearance aisle so we can see but uh, yeah very cool sometime I need to drag all my he-man toys down from the basement I've got nowhere to put them <laughs> here and display them or anything I said basement drag them down from the attic uh, but uh, it would be nice to probably do a video on what he meant. I have a lot of them, you know, missing their weapons, stuff like that. They were like eBay pickups, yard sale pickups. Bought a bunch of them for Sam when he was born because uh, I wanted him to be able to play with them. So anyway, that's it for the haul. Uh, mukbang video should be coming up later. We're going to go into town and eat here soon. Um, so yeah, that's it. Everybody uh, stay safe. Take care. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.